when I went to the nursery, we were walking around. And I was there with Rafi and my wife, and I was looking at the plants there. And for some reason, I, I thought of like the farmers from ancient Israel, right? Mm -hmm. That when they were, you know, when they would, uh, when they would sow their crops and then harvest, right? So when they would see like, like the the different types of plants and different ways in which uh, they're growing. Like if, if, if the crop was really good, if it was like really robust, right. And they know how to recognize mm -hmm. that when, some, when a plant is healthy or a crop is really healthy and it's beautiful. Uh, and sometimes it's not as, you know, and, yeah. and all yeah. of those things, the way that the plants grow are all communication from God. You know, it's, it's a very, yeah, sure. it's a very, very personal relationship between God and the grower the farmer, right? That that yeah, it's yeah. it's 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 like a very fundamental. It's 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 so fundamental in, into the relationship between uh, between the person and God. It's almost like the relationship between a baby and its mother. It's very primal, right? Where yeah. so I don't so I don't think that we could ever fully observe the Torah without being farmers in some way. Like everybody has to try to grow something. Everybody has to have a piece of land and try to and try to grow something, so that uh, it, it, it's it's it almost defines the relationship between between God and the person. And I don't think that uh, I, prayer, all all the prayer that we have, that's just supplemental to to the to the to the receiving of the of the growth. Because then in ancient Israel, you know, you'd receive the growth, and if it was like especially abundant, you would be filled with joy, and then you would take, you would take the best of it, right, and you take it to Jerusalem as an offering, as a, you know, with tears in your eyes, and you would say thank you to God, you know, like as a recognition, uh, being very moved by the by the beautiful harvest that that He gave to you, right, as as a response. So it was a very, it, it's like sixty percent of our religion and if we can't yeah. if we can't experience yeah. that then then we we learn torah and it's mostly theoretical yeah well frank based on what you're saying it leads it always to me leads back to that this one aspect of the of the discussion and we've seen it for years and it's come from the that message has come from like these gnostic food cakes where they and you and i talk about this they 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 the worst thing for them is if Jews go to their ancestral homeland, Judea and Samaria, to the to the to the to the hills, and start planting things, vineyards, all kinds of crops. The worst thing for anybody who's against God is if the Jews come back to their land and start farming and tilling and and, and cultivating that land, and specifically that part of the land, not just the main, so to speak, what we call Israel proper, but Judea and Samaria. And, and you know where our prophets talk about that we're going to come back to those parts, you know, grow grapes and this and that and the other. The more someone like me imports wine from Israel, the worse it is for Kashrut, either directly or indirectly. Directly, it's, it's his nightmare. It's a nightmare of Bill Gates. It's a nightmare of Blinken. It's a nightmare politically. Because it's a nightmare like spiritually for them. Because the it flies in the face of what they're trying to do. Right, because what happens is the world in the world is downstream of what the Jews are doing, whether people want to hear that or not. If the, if all the yeah. Jews start becoming farmers, right, and growing yeah. stuff, yeah. that will that will yeah. the world will see that and will be affected by it, and then will become much yeah. better and much healthier. And they can't have that yeah. seeking our destruction. 